Now turn to section 3. Section 3. You will hear a radio programme in which a researcher talks about stress at work. First you have some time to look at questions 21 to 24. Now listen carefully and answer questions 21 to 24. And now, after that old favorite from the course entitled, I Never Loved You Anyway, we have Dr. Greenhill to talk to us today about stress in the workplace. Is it getting worse, Dr. Greenhill? I'm not sure whether it's getting worse or just that more people are talking about it. Certainly more people are complaining about it. I've just completed a study of 5,000 workers from 20 different countries, and I've taken a multicultural approach to the subject. And what have you found? That, broadly speaking, the causes of stress are similar all over the world. For example, Raymond from Mexico City says that society measures people by individual success. But, he says, increasingly work is organized in teams. This means there is a conflict between personal goals and the need to cooperate with one's colleagues. He finds this an acute source of stress, actually. Then there's Kikuko, from Osaka, Japan, who says she's under a lot of stress because the company she's worked for for 30 years is in difficulties. She says it's because her bosses made a number of bad decisions. But really what worries her most is that she might lose her job. You know, she's in her 50s, and at that age, it's not easy to find another one. She says that she also feels overworked, and that's getting her stressed out, too. Well, then there's Boris, from Odessa in the Ukraine. He puts overwork at the top of his list of stressors. Then there are other factors. Both he and his wife have full-time jobs, so that when they get home, they don't get to relax much either. I guess that's a problem most of us can relate to. We always hear about computers, email, and cell phones as things which get people tearing their hair out. Is this true? Mm, in many cases, yes, but not so much as you might think. Only 15% of respondents give this as their main cause. Etienne, from Quebec, Canada, is one, though he also mentions change and the feeling of being a victim of circumstances beyond his control. Other people talk about the amount of work which comes with continual change as being more stressing than new technologies themselves. People feel they lack stability in their working life. But we must remember that in many places it's really lack of new technology that puts people under most pressure. Take Nagwa from Sohag in Egypt, for example. She says that for her the main source of stress was working in noisy, hot, unventilated conditions day out, and with no end in sight. So it seems we can't win either way. Before you hear the rest of the programme, you have some time to look at questions 25 to 30. Now listen carefully and answer questions 25 to 30. So, what can we as individuals do to make things easier for ourselves? Well, I've talked to a number of specialists about this, doctors and psychologists. And here are a few suggestions for reducing stress without you having to change your job. First, vary your diet. Fish, pasta, vegetables, fruit, and so on. Try not to live off sandwiches and fast food. A balanced diet, in other words. Also, we tend to drink too much coffee. Caffeine, the drug in coffee, gets us more nervous. So if you want to feel less stressed, drink less coffee. It's tough at first, but you'll notice the difference within just a few days. Finally, take regular exercise. It's a great way of relaxing, and of course, it makes you more healthy too. For particular cause of stress, there are various things you can do. 
If your problem is that you think you've got too much work on your plate, what you probably need to do is to manage time better. You have to learn to deal with the things which are really vital. Don't waste time on trivialities. There are courses to help you with this. If you are worried about unemployment, make plans so that if it happens, you are ready for it. Do things like set money aside and update your CV so it's attractive to new employers. As for new technologies, do training courses so that you feel at home with them and so that you don't feel frightened of them. So in the end, the best way to deal with stress is for you to take control of your life and not allow yourself to be a victim of circumstance. Thank you, Dr. Greenhill on fighting stress. And just when you thought you could relax, here's Dolly Parton working 9 to 5. That is the end of Section 3. You now have half a minute to check your answers.